So a long time ago, I came up with this drum. This was a wooden piece that I sculpted to get something started when I was working on the drum. Then that turned in to what most people know as the drum. We used that for quite a while. People liked it. Then I got busy with a little bit of engineering and I've been doing some drafting. So um, this is a whole bunch of iterations of the new drum. Um, and I'll show you just a bunch of these things. We went through all kinds of all kinds of shapes and sizes and you know I sat there and I thought about it and worked on this for a very long time. And this is what we come up with. This is this is the new drum. And it bolts on and we'll show you a little bit closer on the computer what that looks like. Now we also have and this screws on to the unisender and we have a, a great way of mounting that um, and then we also came up with a piece for the bottom L bracket to keep the L bracket from wearing out because if it wears out then the whole thing is kind of messed up you got to have that L bracket to work so we'll show you how that gets installed okay so this is this is the drum and you can see we've got uh, threaded holes on there um, it's got a very smooth contour and it's much lighter than our original uh, we'll show you how that gets mounted um, this is the mounting plate that also comes with it it's the same um, it's the same shape as the actual drum we just sliced the bottom off of it and then we put these uh, holes up here that will guide your drill bit um, on the top plate of the unicenter. And then this is the um, part for the L bracket. And it fits very snug. We're going to put maybe a little bit of silicone or whatever in there. I played with some screws and everything, but it doesn't need it. This is what the full kit is going to come with. It has this the bolts or screws to attach the drum with, some lock washers. Um, there'll be a sheet and you can use this as a stencil if you want to use it for positioning the bolt holes. You can use those indices to um, do your drilling. Or you can use um, you can use this positioning guide and you put this on the top and that will position the holes for your drill bit. So there's a couple ways you could do that. You can you can cut out your stencil and then use some just paper glue or whatever and glue that stencil on and then use that indices uh, those marks to make your hole. Your hole should be made with a 5 16 drill bit. That will make it just a little bit larger so that you can move it around a little bit and it'll give you a little bit of margin when it comes to getting everything lined up. But it also gives you a little bit of ability to move that in closer or move that further away from, from the rope. And incidentally, if you are getting um, later on in the life of the unisender, if you're starting to get wear rather than going to a bigger rope, you can actually in, in, uh, elongate those holes, make it a little, little bit of a slot, and when you put this on, you can make it where it comes and pushes more into the rope and it'll give you a, a little longer wear out of the unisender. So that's one way to do that. Uh, another way is to take, I've taken just some epoxy. And this would be just a drop or two of epoxy, enough to kind of temporarily hold it in place. And I'll use that epoxy and then I'll, I'll use uh, those um, positioning, this positioning device. So uh, I find putting it in a drill press is probably best, but you know, do, do whatever you know how to do. 
uh, when it comes to installing these. So once that's glued down and you've got it in just the right position, then you're going to take your drill press or whatever and you're going to line it up and um, use use those as the uh, the guide for getting that set just right. And you'll notice those those are just the right size to fit the drill bit. So if your drill bit is off center or whatever, then you would know it by looking at looking at the guides or the indices. So once that's once that's in, then you can take your screws and they'll just screw right right into the uh, drum and uh, put a lock washer on there and then secure it down. And because those are a little bit, this is these are quarter inch screws and that's a 5 16 cent hole. So it gives you a little bit of um, adjustability and just tighten those down with an Allen wrench and uh, you are you are good to go. When it comes to this L bracket, what I do again, this is a really snug fit. Um, you can see right now that I can start to push this on. What I do, you can put it in uh, a vise with some maybe soft clamps so you don't scar up the aluminum. And then just push that on um, to help make sure that it stays on. Like I said, it's just a perfect fit. Um, what I've done is I've taken some uh, gasket maker or high temperature silicone uh, because that gets pretty warm on a descent. So take a little bit of that and put it in that channel. And then when you put it in the vise and squeeze it down, that will spread out and uh, lock that down a little bit. And you know, when it does wear off, you can, you can pull it off. Um, if you don't have a vise or something, another method of doing that is just to use a soft mallet and tap it down into place. And once you've done that, then there's your, there's your L bracket. Um, wear plate. So, hello my friends. I'm finally getting around to putting out uh, another improved version of the drum for the Unisender. This is the Unisender. Um, it's been around for quite a while. It's a beautiful tool. I mean, it's so compact. That's everything there is. Right now I have set up for a doubled moving rope where the climber has possession of both anchors. And then I have an SRT line here where it's a stationary static single rope that's not moving and the anchor is remote from the climber. So I'm going to show you a couple things. With the Unisender, I mean, it works really great going up double moving rope. If you come down like this a lot, you're gonna wear out these plates. This is really hard aluminum I suspect maybe tempered 7075, but it's very, uh, very solid aluminum, but that's a lot of wear on those small wear points. So if you go up double rope and then you come down double rope and you do that a lot, you're probably going to wear that out prematurely. And to me, that's not where the Unisender really shines. It shines on SRT. Another great thing about the Unisender, I mean, this is just without... A rush or anything else is so easy to put on a single rope that was all there was to it taking it off it's just as easy and it tends like nothing it goes up and down notice right now it goes up and down because this L bracket there's the spring it has normally you would have a bridge on here you would have some weight holding that down so right now it just goes straight up and down the rope no if I let go of it it's gonna catch itself but it goes up and down the rope so well. The uh, drum gives it some extra function. It gives it extra smoothness. And it also helps prevent the wear because you'll find that you're staying in that SRT configuration a lot more. And when you compress all those plates, when those plates are all together, that rope runs through without putting a lot of wear on those plates. So you're saving yourself an awful lot of wear. So 
Uh, we've come up with the drum some time ago, and I've got a new version, and I'll show that to you right now. Um, so this is the new drum that we put on there. It weighs 1.5 ounces. It still has the added function and the smoothness from going over the top. We've added this L bracket uh, protector on the bottom. It's a wear plate. It's rounded here, so you get all that extra wear um, when you're going in that SRT configuration. Because if you wear through this L bracket, uh, your unicenter is kind of done as well. And these can be taken off and replaced. If you wear all the way through that, as soon as you get close to the actual L bracket, you just slip this off and put another one on. They're very tight. Again, putting it on the rope is just as easy and it works really well. One thing that I hear a lot, people would like a pulley out here. And years ago when I was doing a lot of experimenting with it, I put a pulley out there. If you put the pulley anywhere in here, it's just because of the, the shape of this, it just gets kind of funky. Even if you're if you try to use any you know, in in some kind of a three to one, um, and then if you're using it because you want a rope walk, then there's not that much friction going across this plate in the first place. So in the wear plate, we've just extended out here a little bit, and it captures your line so it doesn't slip off of that L bracket. So that works really well. There's the drum in the L bracket coming down SRT. You go up and as soon as you get to the point that you want to stop or whatever, you come back into this configuration. That would be the descent mode. It's very smooth. The plates are all compressed. It's minimum wear. So the what's great about the drum, and I'll turn this around so you can see it better, is you put a second wrap on here. And that fits right in this little groove. There's a indentation right there. It goes into that indentation and basically locks itself off. So if something comes down, if you're trying to set your carabiner, um, all of these big top ascenders, if something comes down on this, if a limb slides down on this, you're not going to go anywhere because it's locked. If you don't do that, you can't, you can't just let go of this because it has to go back into that climbing mode. This is the descent mode, and in the descent mode, you have to hold the tail. But if you come back around and you wrap this in and lock it, then you're good to go. You're not going to go anywhere sitting in that position. When you take it out, you're right back to being in a position where you can go up, up and down the rope. So... Um, Without getting into a lot of details, because I've done a lot of videos on the Unisender, guys would talk about the extra weight here. And again, it's only uh, 1.5 ounces, but the extra weight sitting on that top plate. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't come into play because you have the weight of your bridge or just the weight of your harness or anything on that L bracket. When you have... When you have any weight on this L bracket and it puts it in the proper position, when you're going up and say your foot ascender comes off or the limb you're standing on disappears, it doesn't make any difference. It'll just capture you going up the rope. So if you're not using this in the proper mode, then if I let go of this, of course, it's going to slide down until there's enough friction up on this top plate that it'll slide down and it'll stop on the rope somewhere because it has to have enough speed in order to get some friction to engage that top plate. And it'll do the same thing um, with or without the drum on there. Again. In the proper configuration and in the configuration you're going to use it in it does that even even with just the weight of the carabiner it takes just something to um, make sure that that L bracket is pushing in on that plunger 
to keep that engaged. So having that slide down the road with the extra weight, 1.5 ounces on top of that plate, really functionally makes no difference.